Hey guys, this is the third or fourth color correction giveaway. I'm not really sure, so yeah. Um, this is the last color correction from the last giveaway. If you haven't seen that, or if you don't have that color correction, then go to the link in the description or click on the annotation on the screen. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, so today's color correction should look like this. It's a nice and clean one, and later we will add some blur. So yeah. <coughs> Let me just create a new adjustment layer. So the first thing we're going to add is some curves. That's so the first thing we do is bring in some contrast. Drag this down and this up a bit. Then go to the channel, change it to blue. Drag this up a bit, not too much. And drag this down again. I think that's already too much. Then go to the red channel, drag this up a bit and bring this back to normal. Then go to the green channel, click here, and click here, and then bring this up just a bit, and bring this back to normal. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Um, so the th uh, second thing we are going to add is CC toner. Then go to the blend with original and change that to 85%. Then the next thing we're going to add is um, color balance. Bring the shadow red balance to 20 and the shadow blue balance to 20 and the highlight blue balance to minus 10. Um, so the next thing is color link. That's a quite nice effect. If you don't like that, then just don't add it. But change the opacity to 15. Yeah, that's without and that's with it. So, and the last thing we're going to add is exposure. Um, that will lighten it up a bit more. Change the exposure to uh, 0 0.3 or even higher if you want to. But that's basically the color correction, it's a nice clean one. Um, if that's a bit too red for you, then just go to the curves or the <coughs> uh, color balance and bring back the, yeah, turn down the red here. Or when you're on your curves, you'll go to the red channel and bring this down a bit. Oh, that's the wrong one. You have to bring down the shadows part but I think yeah that's perfect so um, now we will add some blur if you already know how to do that then fine please like the video and <laughs> watch another video but for the beginners I will show you how to do that so um, create a new adjustment layer go to layer new adjustment layer and then type in Gaussian blur and drag that on the screen then change the blurriness to maybe 5 or something whatever you prefer or 3 or use 2 for this one um, and then go to um, there are different ways to do that you can um, maybe just make the borders blurred or but I don't really like that so go to this tool uh, <coughs> hold your left mouse key on it and go to rectangle tool and then select this part of your screen so then basically this part will be blurred out um, yeah blurred and if this part is blurred then just go to the inverted tab here and check that and then go to because it's yeah a heart um, like you see there's no transition between the blurred part and the not blurred part. To change that, you go to masks and then masks feather and drag that up. Maybe something like 100 or something. And let me just bring back the blurriness. So yeah, that's basically it. And if you maybe want the kill feed blur too, then go to the layer again and make another selection. And don't forget to go to that again and bring up the feather to 100. So yeah, that's basically it. Please like the video. And if this video gets enough likes, I will upload the 
next color correction tutorial giveaway whatever so yeah like the video and bye